Hello, my wonderful Aquarians. I hope you all are doing amazing. Today, I'm going to be tapping into the energies of those of you that are currently not in communication with your person. So as per usual, I will be starting off with an oracle and we can just clarify those existing energies with tarot. <clears throat> Alrighty, for my Aquarians in separation, please. Okay, so we have a woman holding a coin. So here's what I see. This is someone that wants to give you something tangible, okay? Offer you something tangible here. Get things off the ground. Um, of course, no gender, but I do feel like this is something um, that your person wants to put practical effort um, into. So it could be them reaching out, could be them, you know, deciding on maybe what is the right thing to say or what is the um, very thing that they want to offer you. But someone who pretty much wants to introduce more stability into your life here. And um, I do feel that... This is someone who's watching you from afar. I feel like maybe there's some telepathic communication going on or this person kind of assuming or kind of guessing, playing the guessing game with you in a sense of how you feel and how you currently view this situation. <clears throat> so we have happy family here. So this could definitely let me know that this uh, is someone that you have been in a commitment with. Maybe marriage was, um, you know, part of the discussion here. And if that's not the case, it seems that this is what this person is trying to move towards. Again, wanting to introduce more stability. The happy family card is also the number four. So I do feel like this person is in this energy of wanting to grow with you and build with you. But there's this heavy emphasis when it comes to practical effort. So again, I feel like right now this person is trying to figure out the right thing to say, the right thing to do more importantly um, and I just feel like this person is operating from a space of emotions but they're also holding back a bit almost a sense of like not wanting to love bomb you or like not wanting to come off too strong here um, is what I'm picking up on So we have patience. So maybe some of you feel that you have been very patient when it comes to the situation. Could be, you know, at a point where you're kind of like, okay, what, what is the outcome going to be? Because I do sense that there's some sort of frustration, especially because you feel like there's a lot of things that are uncertain at this time. Okay, so many of you want you know, straightforward answers, of course, but also you want to see some sort of practical effort. I feel like on your person's end, there's either this pressure to do something or they, or there's this energy of um, feeling that time is running out in one way or another. Okay. Alrighty, let's see. So as I split my deck here, guys, I do have the Four of Cups as well as the King of Swords, which lets me know that many of you are wanting to have a truthful conversation with this person. Um, I will say, Aquarius, with that Four of Cups energy, this could be an individual that was being very nonchalant or they were acting uninterested in the past here. Um, and it also talks about maybe having an opportunity in front of you or, or, you know, an opportunity presenting itself to you, but not necessarily acting on it. So whether this person was in, an, in, in, you know, like an avoidant energy or you just feel like they were dragging their feet when it came to practical effort here, you want to have a truthful conversation, right? You want to know why things transpired the way that they did. But again, with that King of Swords, you're very hard to read at this time. Um, Aquarius, I do feel like this is how your person views you. And many of you seem to be in a tad bit of a detached energy, right? Like maybe you're feeling that you're open for a conversation, but you don't want to be the one to like initiate the conversation at this time. Alrighty, let's see. So we have the two of cups, um, makes sense. You know, your second card is the happy family card. So your person feels like you guys belong together. It's almost like, how do we get to a space where it doesn't feel so bumpy? Not only do I feel like there are many things that are up in the air, or you may have a lot of questions that you feel like are going unanswered at this time. I do feel like many of you feel misunderstood when it comes to your emotions. 
So it's not that you don't have emotions for this person. I'm sure you miss this person, but it seems that you, again, want to see more effort. And more than that, many of you are seeking some sort of truth here. Okay, so if there is a lack of truth, it seems that you don't trust this situation. That's not going to be the case for all of you, but I do see that for many of you, there is, you know, um, uh, a trust factor here that you guys are focused on. Two of Cups, again, it's like a soulmate energy. It's someone who feels like you guys are meant for each other. Um, you know, there's this void that this person has and they feel like you are able to fill that void and you fill that void by understanding this person on all aspects. Um, I do feel like this is someone that has confided in you about a lot. I feel like this is someone who feels very emotionally fulfilled when they are, you know, with you. So it's definitely someone who's missing you and craving your company. <clears throat> Some of you may be involved with the water sign, so that would be Cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio. There could be a question of whether your uh, similarities are outweighing the differences, okay? So maybe in the past year, you guys were not seeing eye to eye on something, and it could have been a deal breaker, but I feel like there's like a change of a perspective now, right? So we have the Four of Swords clarifying the Happy Family card. So the Four of Swords comes after the Three of Swords, which means you guys are healing um, from maybe a harsh exchange of words. You're healing from something that caused some sort of heartache, okay? So you're at the point where you've, you know, you're dealing with your emotions, but you're not in a space of dwelling, right? You are trying to heal from it so you can move forward, whether it is with or without this person. Now, I do feel like um, there is a lot of, you know, critical thinking going on. Um, you know, both of you are spending a lot of time in solitude, and it seems to be that um, it's almost like you guys are anticipating communication from, you know, um, each other here, but I don't feel like both parties are, are reaching out. So pretty much what I'm picking up on Aquarius is kind of a push and pull energy here. Okay, so maybe we're, we're going through a little bit of a power battle. That's what I see for you guys. Um, and as far as the Four of Swords, again, I feel like many of you um, are trying to make a decision or you're thinking about something, but you feel like you don't want to communicate it to this person. Could just be, again, like critical thinking that you feel like you need to do on your own and you don't want to be influenced by like exterior factors or like um, other people's opinions at this time. Alrighty, so patience. <clears throat> wow, that's a lot of cards. So I'm not going to take all of these, but I'll, we'll figure out the message behind it. So six of cups, three of cups, six of pentacles, eight of wands. Okay, so Aquarius, you know, this person goes back and forth in their mind about, okay, do I want to return to the past or do I not? Now, here's what I will say. There's a fine line between like missing the past, like when it comes to your person's perspective, like they miss the past and they want, you know, things to go back to how they used to be, but the past also has some memories that they're not fond of, okay? Three of Cups could be an indication for a third-party situation, and that's not going to be the case for all of you. So if it's not a third-party situation, could be this person feeling that there are external influences affecting, you know, their ability to do something um, about the, you know, progression of this bond here. Six of Pentacles wanting to, you know, give to this connection and wanting to communicate with you in a very quick manner. So, you know, you could this person could be reaching out via text or phone call, or it could just be... Um, like someone who's driven by passion, who is getting an urge to communicate with you and, and they're in this energy of feeling generous, but it could also come off a tad bit impulsive, right? The wand's energy, it's great because you're driven by passion, but again, it could also be a bit impulsive. So maybe some of you are viewing this individual to be a tad bit unpredictable here. <clears throat> okay. Eight of Wands could also speak about travel. So this could definitely be a long distance relationship here where your person needs to, you know, travel closer to you. And if it's not, you know, physical distance, it's just emotional distance. Someone trying to close that gap here, move closer to you, wanting you to be more open. There's a lot of curiosity here as to, you know, what you're up to um, and, you know, where your attention is, what has changed, you know, that sort of thing. Yeah, so we have the strength card. So this person's definitely holding back. There's definitely a bit of a, um, 
again, push and pull energy, or you feel like you are involved with a very stubborn person. I'll give you a generic example. If you feel like there was some sort of misunderstanding here in the past, maybe you feel like this person needs to take the initiative to come forward, but you feel like them avoiding the situation is just making things a bit worse. Um, some of you may be involved with the Leo. They do rule the strength card, but <clears throat> with strength clarifying patience, it lets me know that many of you feel that you have been extremely patient with this person, whether it's because you were waiting for them to communicate, whether it's because you were waiting for them to, you know, um, grow out of old, old habits, but it seems that you're at a point where, you know, you're really focused on the outcome. Okay. And if there's no progress here, I feel like this is where your uh, frustration stems from a lot of holding back and it's almost like okay if you love me and if you want to work on things and if you want to you know move things forward here um why are you constantly holding back i feel like that's what you're uh you know those are the thoughts that may be crossing your mind at this time <clears throat> okay two of cups so we have the fool card here so some of you may be involved with a Gemini, um, an Aquarius like yourself, a little bit of Virgo energy here as well as Aries. But I will say, guys, with the Fool, it's someone who wants to take a leap of faith towards pursuing a connection with you. This is what's in their desires. This is what they want to do. This is what they think about, right? Um, but again, you know, this person doesn't know the outcome. They don't know what the future will hold. That's probably why the closing card is um, the strength card because it's someone who gets these urges to be like, you know what, I want to drop everything and just tell Aquarius how I feel. Um, and then on the other hand, it's like, okay, no, I'm being impulsive or I don't know how Aquarius is going to react or, you know, I'm not sure if I'm doing the right thing. If I'm being completely honest with you, I do feel like it's someone here who's fearing rejection. Okay. So, you know, this person wanting to speak to you, but Again, guys, like even if you feel like you're not going to reject this person, it's more so like just their perspective on things um, could be <clears throat> could be that they're in their own way at this time as well. I will say for some of you, you do believe that the the um, you know connection here is very real with this person. You feel like it's very potent, but again, you don't trust this person. Some of you feel like this person doesn't make the best decisions, or you feel like they you know, do things for um, temporary satisfaction without thinking about like the long-term effects of it. Or it's someone who does things, but they don't think about maybe how that would affect you. So again, the uncertain energy is kind of what makes this entire situation here unpredictable for you guys. And maybe even makes you question, okay, do I really want to do this again? Do I really trust this person? Um, so a lot of questioning going on is what I'm picking up on. <clears throat> Yeah, three of cups here. You know, this person feels like they like their dream here or their wish is to celebrate with you. It's to be at a space where things aren't feeling so difficult. But with that four of swords, it's someone who's still trying to heal from what occurred in the past. Like it's a pretty contradicting energy, but it's also very simple. So the best way for me to explain it is the most complex part here is the fact that your person is very back and forth right now. You know, it's someone who's like, okay, I want to pursue this commitment, but then it's also someone who fears rejection. You know, some days they're like, you know what? I just want to celebrate. I want to take Aquarius out. I want to have a good time. And then other days they're like, okay, but what if, um, you know, it doesn't work or what if it results, you know, what if we're back at square one? So because of the back and forth energy, again, I feel like that's why um, this person is constantly holding back. It's almost like someone who can't fathom their emotions or they're not able to pinpoint how they feel or what exactly they want. So moving, you know, moving forward is difficult or figuring out this practical effort that they want to put forward. Um, it's so difficult for them at this time. It's almost like someone who wants to do something, but they don't know what to do. They know they want to do something right as in offer you something tangible or, you know, bring forward some sort of um, action or gesture that proves their love to you, but they just don't know what to do is what I'm picking up on. <clears throat> And I do feel like you're either in a detached energy or this person finds you a bit um, hard to read at this time. So why are they held back? Let's see. This person thinks that things are over. 
they think that things are over and they want to rekindle this flame, right? So this is almost someone who feels like they're fantasizing or they're having a hard time seeing past illusions. I will say that, you know, there may be one party here who believes that things have ended and, and you know, it's over. And then there's another party here who feels like, no, there is unfinished business. You know, things could have not possibly ended this way. So I do see two, you know, pretty contradicting energies here. Or I'm picking up on your person because we just talked about your person going kind of back and forth here in their mind. So it could be them just, you know, some days feeling like it's not over and other days feeling like, oh yeah, it's completely over. So the reason why they're holding back, again, not to sound too repetitive, is because they're in a very back and forth energy at this time. Um, they're having a hard time decoding this situation. This is someone who um, feels like they don't know how you feel. They don't know how you will receive what they're going to say. They don't know how you will respond. Um, that sort of thing. <clears throat> All right, let's see. Let's see if I can get a closing card for you guys. Okay, so these cards both have, uh, you know, like a true statement and a uh, trigger statement. So the true statement in your card here is I surrender. And so the trigger statement is I need to control. Exactly. And, I, and it goes hand in hand with, you know, pretty much your spread here. I feel like, again, there is this um, urge that your person has to either control how things happen. Because think about it this way, Aquarius. The reason why your person is not reaching out right now or they feel very held back is because they are fearing the outcome. It's because they want to know the outcome of a situation before they even put forward the practical effort, which could be impossible in many, many cases, right guys? So with that being said, I feel like there is this energy um, or the advice behind this card, for those of you wondering, it seems to be that your person needs to surrender to what is, okay, and not worry about the outcome of things. Because we, we do have one card that's like, oh, you know what? I, I don't care. I don't care about the outcome. You know, I, I'm just going to, you know, do what I want to do with the Fool card. But then the next card is the Four of Swords. So it's like, even if some days they feel that they are building the courage to, to you know, come forward, other, other days they talk their self out of it, right? Now, I do feel like it says, allow yourself to relax with the currents of life. These changes will take you even closer to where you are meant to be, right? So it is this energy of going with the flow and being patient. But I do feel like many of you are, you know, at a stage where you feel frustrated. Because again, it's someone who wants to do something. They're not sure what they want to do. And they also want to be in control of the outcome. This person may feel that if they were to reach out, the outcome is going to be worse than the stage that you guys are currently at here is what I'm sensing. Okay. So my wonderful Aquarians, that is what I'm getting for you this week. I really do hope you were able to find a message that resonated with you here today. And uh, thank you so much for your time.